Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own, and then when you're ready, press play, and we'll solve it together. All right, let's read the question. Uh, to watch a varsity basketball game, spectators must buy a ticket at the door, and the cost of an adult ticket is three dollars. So I just down. Every adult ticket, adult tickets, cost three dollars, and student tickets, s tickets cost $1.50. So I'm just going to notice, okay, students are cheaper. That makes sense. If the number of adult tickets sold are by A, oh great, and the number of, I used that already, the number of student tickets is S, which expression represents the amount of money collected at the door from the ticket sales. So you kind of imagine a scenario. Let's say we have A is 5. So there's, if A is 5, there's 5 adults, and let's say S is uh, 6, 6 students. How much money would we make? Well, Five adults times three dollars per adult, plus six times a dollar fifty, the cost of uh, each student. We would add these two together to get the total amount of money. Let's just call that T. So five times three would be fifteen. Six times a dollar fifty would be nine, and we would make twenty-four dollars. Now they're asking us to reflect on how you would write this as a general equation. If you look back here, 5 times 3, we're just taking 5, the number of adults, times $3, the cost for each ticket. So you can say that's 5 times 3 is the same thing in general as A, the number of adults, times 3, the cost for each adult. And then over here, we have the number of students, S, times the cost for each student. And these two add together give us a total amount of tickets. If you look at all of my choices, the closest is here, choice 4. They just wrote it the other way, 3 times A plus $1 50 times S. And those are equivalent because of the commutative property of multiplication. All right, hope this helped.